Okay, having just done a few projects where I built tracked robots, motorized tracked robots, and I was using the uh, print and place tracks by, uh, what, 365? Anyway, I got thinking, well, why not make some more industrial strength tracks? And I've done this in the past, <clears throat> rather than the print and place ones. Back in 2001, I started building a full-size Johnny 5, motorized working Johnny 5. and didn't complete it till 2004, so it was like a three-year project. So it was over 20 years ago. Anyway, the actual Johnny 5 uses these. Well, let's get the right name on here. Tabletop Rex 281. You can see that. <clears throat> it's a conveyor belt, but they call it a tabletop one. And this is a bar that would lock. Another piece just like this would fit in here. And then you would pound the bar in and the neural den would stick in there. And it's how you join them all together. Now the only mod you have to do to get the look for Johnny Five is cut the corner. Because when they come from the factory, they're, they're square there. So you got to do a corner cut. And of course, then if you're really trying to get like the movie, then you've got got to add your traction, your grip to it. So you've got to drill holes and rivet them in place and all that. I had all these uh, cut by a factory that does, uh, I think it was water jet. Yeah, it was a water jet cutter in a neoprene, so very tough. Anyway, <clears throat> I was gonna, I'm going, well, why don't I just use this? Because I already know this can be scaled up to a full-size robot and work, which means I should be able to scale this down into something toy-sized, and uh, and it should still work. So I simply went to the company's website, and lo and behold, they provide, when you look up this part, they provide CAD drawings for it. And not only CAD, if you scroll down on the choices, they provide STL files for it. So I just downloaded the STL file <clears throat> for this piece, and then I could reduce it by whatever percentage I wanted. I'm going to show you these in a second, but this is 25% quarter scale. The only, like I say, the only mods I had to make to the STLs, when they show it to you, it has this rod, so I had to, uh, punch a hole through the STO file to get rid of the rod and just end up with the empty hole there and that one was already empty and uh, remove the corners and then I had an STO file that was usable for this project. So my initial thought was that 25% would be a good size but actually this is quite big. I mean you, this is just one of the tracks. You figure if you had another track then you got the lower section then you got the body <coughs> Before you know it, it's too big to put on a display case or anything like that. However, it is a good size for motorizing gear motors and large servos and stuff like that. Um, each one of those, when they're scaled down, looks like this. They print very well. I simply filled the plate on my A1 Mini with these and uh, had it print them all out and the uh, hole size was just the about a number 18 gauge finishing nail so I went and bought some uh, finishing nails they were about that length and we join all of these uh, all of these together I'm like it would go like that and then you drive the pin in there or in, that, in my case of the finishing nail. <clears throat> Once the finishing nail was in there, the head was sticking out a little. I took my soldering pencil and pushed it against the head of the finishing nail when it's when it's hot until it started going in and melted in. I pushed it in until it was flush. So I knew it wasn't going to come out anywhere. But, like I say, I only went about this far with the project <clears throat> before I decided <clears throat> It was uh, too large for what I wanted to do. I wanted to go with a smaller scale for for what I had in mind. Um, the drive cog for it, you can call it a gear or whatever you want right here, is, can also be found on their website, the matching one for their chain. So again, I just downloaded the STL file from them for the cog, so I knew it would match the chain, reduced it 25%. Their cog was held together with spokes. I wanted this solid so that when I print it, 
I wouldn't have to deal with supports or anything. So I filled it in solid, and punched a hole in it the size that I wanted, and um, also printed in TPU, which is a flexible um, filament, the little grips, and in this case, because <clears throat> TPU is different than PLA, I couldn't use the weld-on glue, so I went ahead and used the super glue, and you only get one shot at it. The second the TPU touches the PLA, it's stuck. So if you don't get it on quite straight the first time, you're you kind of have to start again, grab another another track part and give it another shot. So um, this is just part one. My 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 goal is I want to make a motorized set of treads that could be used for anything, not just a Johnny Five. I really don't have any plans on building. Uh, another Johnny Five. I've got my full scale one and that that's enough and in the past I've made little teeny ones that were radio controlled that would drive around but um, I want to use the TT gear motor the most common the 148 or as it would correctly be called 48 to 1 gear reduction and I want to be able to fit it in there and drive this so it'll be the uh, the gear motor with a single shaft, not the dual shaft, which is the cheapest one to find, the easiest one to find. I found some on Amazon where you could get eight of them for just a little over ten bucks. So I've ordered those. I'm waiting for them to arrive. Based on the size of that motor and the space that's in here, I'm thinking uh, I might be go down to twenty one fifth scale, a twenty percent scale from the full thing instead of 25 so smaller but not minuscule still small enough to use so I'm waiting for the motors while I'm waiting for the motors I'm working on the files I've already uh, reduced um, the track down to 20% um, working on the gearing for the rollers because on here there's gonna have to be some sort of gear and probably an intermediate gear and then the gear on the TT motor the TT motor gear can't be so big that it would be able to mess with this without hitting here because that would be gearing it up and actually I want to gear down the TT motor to a slower gear ratio so small gear there small gear to give me just as a spacer and as big a gear as I can fit in here without it becoming a problem and uh, that'll reduce it planning running the TT motor on six volts which is actually its optimum voltage so I'll get the the best uh, current uh, the most amount of drive from the motor and um, make the other plate uh, designed these plates of course and well everything I mean the only thing I downloaded from the website so far was the table track and that gear cog uh, everything else I've had to design so I'll rescale everything and we'll be back with another video with the smaller scale and we'll see how that goes plus I'm hoping the uh, TT motors arrive soon so we can actually see uh, what speed it moves at and all that kind of stuff <laughs>